Boxing is a sport that's never been shy to utilize race and ethnicity to create a theatrical spectacle. In the past 50 years, no professional boxer has begun a career and sustained unbeaten success for as long as has Julio Cesar Chavez. Popes, presidents, drug lords, fighters respect him, fans adore him. Chávez era el hombre del pueblo, del barrio, comiendo lo que comen los mexicanos, escuchando la música que escuchan los mexicanos y boxeando como mexicano. Siempre tuve el cariño, el respaldo de, de, todo, de, todo, de todo México. Julio was the star of stars and below the heavyweight division until Oscar De La Hoya came along. Still the champion of the world. Look at this. Where have you ever seen in the sport of boxing a good-looking kid, so articulate? The love that I received in my country here was incredible. I'm representing East Los Angeles. I'm representing Latin Americans. I'm representing Mexicans. It wasn't until the Chavez fight that people started questioning and people started saying, he's not a real Mexican. There was a huge crowd there. Oscar got noticeably booed. And Chavez turned to somebody and said, I've never been booed in my hometown. Everywhere I would go, he's gonna kick your ass. He's gonna beat you. He's our hero. He had gotten a letter from the president of Mexico. You better not wear the Mexican flag on his trunks. Oscar bore a bunch of that attitude of not being Mexican enough. La gente que vive en Estados Unidos, Mexicana, it's incredible how they how they care. At the time, we didn't know they were cartel, and they threatened, if, look, if you beat them, something's going to happen. I don't think boxing has ever captured that excitement for us, like this fight. It was like the world was telling us there's one way to be Mexican, Oscar's way, or the Julio way. Me tenía miedo. Me tenía miedo porque yo miraba sus ojos. Deep down inside, I was like, I'm gonna prove to all these Mexicans that I'm Mexican enough.